There is a lot of guidance from the OWASP community on how to do SAM assessments. I will link a podcast in the description with a deep dive in a lot of the topics. I will not go very deep in the decisions behind those, but there is a decision you have to make very early on, and that is who is going to do the assessment. Is it going to be uh, the teams themselves self-assessing? Is it going to be a central person in the organization or a central security team that is assessing the different teams or business units? Or is it going to be an, an external assessor that comes in and, and assesses the different teams or business units? By default, this is set up so that the teams assess themselves, but you can, of course, uh, change these settings. So uh, I have started filling out an assessment here. On the left side, you have the business functions. Then here you have the different streams. And here you have the three relevant questions for the three maturity levels. Let's grab one that isn't filled out yet. Here, policy and compliance. And I can start answering the question. Do you have and apply a common set of policies and standards throughout the organization? Yes, for most of all applications in my case. I fill out these questions and then I can uh, finalize the evaluation and submit for validation. If you're wondering what this uh, icon is, this is the target uh, answer, which uh, has been set by the target posture. Uh, an organization may set target posture for the different kinds of uh, teams and business units, which then becomes like a, a goal or a, a policy to work towards. If you want to find out more about that, please check out uh, my videos on setting a target posture and comparing between teams and business units. Now, when I submit this for validation, this moves to the validation track. This may be the same team or this may be a different team. They then have to approve or reject uh, what has been submitted. The submission can come with some documentation, some explanation, some links to documents um, to demonstrate that uh, this level of maturity has really been achieved. If I press accept, then this has now passed the validation stage. And now we come into the improvement stage. This is to build roadmaps and to start your improvement process. Now I want to go back to the assessment stage. I'm going to grab a different activity and I'm going to point out a different way this could be done. Now, if we're talking about an external assessor, I can click this slider here. And now I'm in an external assessing mode. This means that uh, there is no longer a assessment and a validation, but it is directly providing validated scores. So this will immediately count as validated scores and I can submit them right away. And then we're directly into the improvement track. There is another way in which um, the validation may be omitted. That is when we create a new scope, or we create a new assessment for an existing scope. Let's say here, this uh, business unit does not have a SAM assessment yet. I can start, uh, sorry, I can star start a SAM assessment and the validation threshold uh, indicates from when onwards should things be validated. If we set this to zero, everything should be validated. If we set this to three, nothing should be validated. If we set it to 1.5, any score above 1.5 should be validated, meaning typically the very low scores, we don't really need to check that. But if a team claims to be re scoring really high in an activity or in a stream, then we would like to have a second person check if that's really the case. Uh, unsupervised teams that are not checked may tend to score themselves a little bit too generously. So this can be a, a cutoff point as to from when do you want to uh, ask for validation. Hence, this is how you do the assessment. And if you go to the dashboard, the different tasks appear here in the different uh, tracks. So the evaluation track is what I was doing, then the validation track, if, if it's relevant, and then the improvement track. For all of these activities, people can be assigned. So I could give this to Grastio, I could give, give to Mar this to Mark, and I can give this to Nicolas. Who, who I can give this to depends on the roles of the people, which again, we have another video on, 
which I encourage you to watch if you want to learn more about collaborating and team roles. And this is the essence of how you do some assessments with SAMI.